Hey, my name is Chad on the channel We Like to Make Stuff. In today's video, we're going to go ahead and finish off the restoration of this trailer. We're heading up to North Richmond right now to link up with a guy named um, Ramsey. He's going to do the welding on these uh, fenders and uh, we're going to get those welded on. Uh, and then we're going to come back here and we're going to uh, finish up the uh, paint touch-ups where they will be necessary after he applies the weld to it. And uh, we'll be done after that. All right, the trailer is done, and we're here with the uh, local Richmond artisan, Keith Ramsey. Hey, folks. Um, so you are um, you're a welder by yep. trade. Yep, an artist. An artist. Yeah, yeah. I classify myself as an artist more more than anything else. Yeah. Yeah. So tell me real quick about your shop. What is this building all about? Uh, this building has a bunch of different workers in there, a bunch of different shops, knife makers. Uh, auto parts and, and you know welders and woodworkers and stuff yeah. like that so it's a good collaborative space the thing about this is is one of the sole survivors in Richmond because everything else is being turned into apartments so yeah we're lucky enough to have this place right so we're right down here in a very very industrial area of town mm -hmm. yeah you've got the interstate that's like on high bridges right behind yeah, here right back here you got and over here we've got uh, railroad a busy track. railroad track um, there's some footage of, uh, of a train going yeah, by. Soil reclamation over here, so yeah. all your uh, your sewage and everything from your septic tanks come here. Yeah. You know, so some days it's, uh, you can really tell. How long have you considered yourself an artist? <laughs> over, um, I'm 50 now, so over. He's got years. less gray in his beard than I do. Uh, yeah, you know, cat, <laughs> cats will do that to you. But yeah, I say like over 30 years. Okay, cool. You know, most of my life. And you say you've got a, a statue or a, a sculpture yeah, down? Yeah, yeah. Sharps Island, um, if you go to Found Punk RVA, there's, you know, and go through my images and stuff like that, there's an image of Edwards the Fisherman. Yeah. And it's a found object artwork sculpture that's got casting for fish out in the river. So Found Punk RVA is a website or that's it's your... It's Instagram. Okay, yep. if, if you go uh, follow them like I did on Instagram, Found Punk RVA, one word. Yep. and uh, give them a follow and throw them some likes and comments likes and uh, that's what it's all about right yeah 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 yeah. You know, it really a little is. bit of attention and mm -hmm. look what I can do yeah it's, it's, it's part of the gig man yeah and if you're if you're in the Virginia area central Virginia area and you need a little bit of welding work done or art you need an art project give this guy a shout you know a guy <laughs> thanks man Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, sure thing. Yeah. And so here is the finished result. Um, we had to get a little extra metal to put on here. This is the metal that I purchased, uh, but the fenders were a little too low and we had to raise a little higher to get more tire clearance. Um, still, it's pretty tight, but it should be enough uh, to accommodate the suspension. We'll see once we get some weight on this to, to know if we got enough. <laughs> but anyway, um, we had to add some space here to raise the fender. Uh, looks a little um, patchwork right now. At least it's consistent on both sides. But what we're going to do right now is go ahead and make this all black. And then we're going to find some more red paint that matches this. 
and matches the truck. Um, unfortunately, the paint that I chose seems to be not stocked anymore and I purchased all the paint in my local parts stores so I'm gonna have to go out a little further to see if I can find any more that they have on stock. And then we're going to clean up the uh, where it's burnt or oversprayed or ground down. We're gonna clean that up and then we're gonna put some some clear coat for some extra protection on it. Well, I wasn't planning on this, but uh, just for funsies, I went ahead and took this uh, can of Plasti Dip and made my white rim black, just like just like the truck. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. You got to once you start, right? So here we go. So over here on the other side, I got the uh, the uh, back wheel on the curb actually, but this wheel spins freely because because of this one's on the curb. So this will make it easier to paint. Watch this. <laughs> How about that? It's actually a lot of there's a lot of paint drips going on right here. You can see it running, so I'll keep it spinning. Hopefully, help it dry a little bit better. Okay, found what I needed here at the Napa store, so I'm going to go ahead and shoot it right here. This should be more than plenty. Uh, it's actually a bigger can than uh, what I have been purchasing from the other stores. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, shoot this right here. Should be enough. Alright, that's all she wrote for this can. I could definitely put another can on there. This doesn't spread too thick. And it doesn't go very far, but this is $18 a can. It's going to be good enough. So now I'm going to take it home and I'm going to put some clear coat on it for some extra protection. And uh, we'll call that done. All right, then. Wrap this up with uh, some crystal clear uh, enamel. Put it on. It's not, a, it's not an automotive clear coat, but uh, it's good enough for a trailer, right? See, could have better coverage with the paint. One final finishing touch.
This right here is a riveter. This is a rivet. Pop it in like this. And then put this in the hole and you pinch it shut and it pops a rivet in place, keeping, in this case, a license plate on there until it's ground off. Well, that'll about do it for the trailer restoration. Thanks for watching the second part of this video. Uh, make sure you subscribe and follow for more, um, more detail about what's going on with this new property. Uh, lots happening, as you can see from the past videos. And uh, yeah, hope to gain you as a subscriber. Bye. Pretty sure I can run up and jump on one of those ladders.